Hey everybody, welcome to Barnes & Noble Storytime. Uh, I'm Aaron Reynolds, I'm the author of many books that hopefully you know and love. Books like Creepy Carrots and Creepy Pair of Underwear and The Incredibly Dead Pets of Rex Dexter. And I'm here today on Barnes & Noble Storytime to read to you my book, Creepy Pair of Underwear. So, everybody, you know, get comfy, get settled in, you know, story time and all. All right, and here we go. Creepy pair of underwear. Creepy pair of underwear, written by Aaron Reynolds. What? That's me, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, illustrated by Peter Brown. That, um, not me, no, no, but amazing artist, I mean, look at, Look at all this, amazing artist, Peter Brown. Oh, okay, here we go. Creepy pair of underwear. Jasper Rabbit needed new underwear. We've all been there. On Thursday, mom took him to the underwear store and grabbed the last three packages of plain white. But as they headed for the checkout, Jasper spotted them. Oh, creepy underwear. So creepy. So comfy. They were glorious. Mom, Mom, can we get these? Jasper pleaded. I think they're a little too creepy, said Mom. No, 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 no. They're not creepy. They're cool, said Jasper. I'm not a little bunny anymore. I'm a big rabbit now. Mom agreed to buy one pair. That night, Jasper wore his cool new underwear to bed. Do you want me to leave the hallway light on, asked Dad. Dad, I'm not a little bunny anymore, said Jasper. I'm a big rabbit now. His dad shut the door. <coughs> Slowly. And that's when Jasper noticed the underwear glowed. A ghoulish, greenish glow. He closed his eyes. He pulled up the covers. He buried his face in his pillow. But it didn't help. He could still see that ghoulish, greenish glow. Jasper leapt out of bed and put on a pair of plain white. He stuffed the creepy underwear into the bottom of his laundry hamper. He finally fell asleep. But when he woke up the next morning, he was wearing the creepy underwear! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Jasper threw them into the garbage can. I mean, he was still a big rabbit. He wasn't scared or anything. But he was done with scary underwear. After school, Jasper was doing his homework when he heard it. A scratchy... <sighs> scraping sound coming from his dresser. He opened the drawer and they were back! Staring at him with that ghoulish, greenish glow. He snatched the creepy underwear out of the drawer. He grabbed a big envelope and some stamps to China. Bye-bye, scary underwear, he said, dropping the package in the mailbox. Dunk! But when he opened the front door the next morning, there they were! And were those chopsticks? His creepy pair of underwear had somehow returned from China, and they had brought back souvenirs. Jasper grabbed his mom's good sewing scissors. 
She didn't like him using them, but this was an underwear emergency. Snip, 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 snip. <laughs> this time, the creepy underwear were gone for good. At bedtime, he slowly opened his underwear drawer. Nothing. Just plain white undies. He searched under his bed. He shook out his lampshades. Whew, there was no sign of creepy underwear. <sighs> he went into the bathroom to comb his ears. They were back! What's the matter with you? His mom asked. You're so jittery lately. Nothing, he yelped. I mean, a grown rabbit couldn't be terrified of his underpants. He seized the underwear. He snagged a shovel from the garage and he rode. He didn't stop pedaling until he reached Creek Hanger Hill. Jasper began to dig. He dug until his hole was dark and deep and 100% underwear proof. He dropped the underwear in. Beep. They gleamed from the bottom, that ghoulish, greenish glow, but not for long. When he got home, Jasper crept up to his dresser. They, they couldn't be in there. I mean, there was no way, right? He reached for the handle. He peeked in. Nothing, just plain white. Jasper smiled and turned out the light. There was just one problem. It was really dark in there, even for a big rabbit. Jasper turned on the light. He looked at his non-glowy pair of plain white and he knew what he had to do. Dun, 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 dun. Dun 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 The creepy underwear were a little muddy, but they still filled the room with that gentle greenish glow. The next day, Jasper gathered his allowance money and went to the underwear store all by himself, just like a big rabbit. That night, Jasper wasn't scared at all. As he lay down to sleep, he smiled. And so did his underwear. Because they had finally found somebody who wasn't scared of creepy underwear. The end. Oh, that is Creepy Pair of Underwear, written by me, Aaron Reynolds, illustrated by Peter Brown. Hey, if you loved that, if you wish you had your own copy that you could read anytime you wanted, you know how to take care of that. Your good friends at Barnes & Noble can help you out in that department. So feel free to stop on by, order it online. They would love to take care of you. Hey, everybody, happy October. I hope everyone's having a great October. And uh, goodbye for now from me, Aaron Reynolds, and all your friends at Barnes & Noble. <laughs>